My next guest tonight has starred in The Perks of Being a Wallflower and Fury. He now stars in the new film, Indignation. Please welcome Logan Lerman. Hello. 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 Thank you so much for having me. I'm a well, huge fan. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Now, you're in a very serious film right now called very, Indignation yeah, yeah. by the very serious author Philip Roth. Philip Roth. But yes. before we get to that, people know you as Percy Jackson. Some people. The Percy Jackson series. Yeah. Super fun series of movies. Thank you. But also, uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower, uh, Fury. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like doing that? Fury movie. Fury movie? That, yeah, it that's film? incredibly loud because you're all guys in a tank. It was very show. loud. Yeah. Very loud. It was it was a crazy experience for me. Super you know? bloody movie. Got to work with some really cool people. Yeah. And it was just Brad, uh, Pitt. Brad Pitt for one. I mean, what a. Yeah. Yeah. He's a handsome dude. You're uh, only 24 years old and yet you've worked with some huge guys. Mel Gibson, Brad Pitt, yeah. Russell Crowe, Christian Bale. I've been just... part of the child actor mill, you know. I was like one of those kids, you know, just doing it for a long time. They just sort of pass you around and go, "He's a good one." Yeah, well, I grew up in LA and then, you know, it's just accessible to give it a shot. So, you know, kids just get sucked into the machine of, "Here's an audition and now now I'm here." I don't know how I ended up here, but somehow <laughs> I'm on you your show. Hard. You work very hard. That's yeah. how you got here. Yeah. As any of these any of these older actors who've been around for a long time, mm -hmm. did any of them act as mentors to you? You know, you know, yeah, a lot of them have. You know, they've they've given me, you know, advice and things to keep in mind over the years. Uh, like what about Brad Pitt? Would Brad Pitt be a mentor to you? A little, you know, cuz that's a great pickup line. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Brad, just, yeah, 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 Brad Pitt's my mentor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He no, always told me I should bring my girlfriend over sometimes. Yeah, you know, it gives me advice, gives me. No, no, he, um, no, you know, funny enough, working with him was great, but, but we, we really were just in our roles and emulated our characters' relationships where mm -hmm. there was a lot of conflict. So there was some conflict, you know, when we were working together, but after shooting. You had conflict with Brad Pitt? Yeah. <laughs> like, for what sure. kind of conflict? Oh, well, you know, I was. So my character in that film was like. Basically, you know, he's, he's a nonconformist, and and, yeah. and and I was trying to be, uh, you know, a nonconformist throughout the shoot, so I'd kind of be a little bit of a jerk while working with him, and, uh -huh. and I'm not sure if I left a great impression, you know? <laughs> and then, but that was just, you know, for the work and, you know, uh -huh. trying to maintain uh -huh. the conflict and things like that. But uh -huh. after, you know, filming, we became friends, and I learned a lot from him, and he's just a great guy. He's someone who's just really generous, gives a lot, asks for little to nothing in return, and just a good dude. Does he ever talk about me? Or never um, <laughs> did I come up at all? Or maybe or maybe or once or twice. Maybe once or twice. Okay, maybe say hi. Or say I will. Hi. Yeah. You, I can, you know, yeah, tell him. I'll hook it up. Yeah, tell him to stop by sometime. For sure. It'll be fun. Yeah. Um, now, in, in the new uh, movie, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you play uh, Marcus Mesner. I do. And, and, and is described in the book as a nice Jewish boy. Mm -hmm. Is he a nice Jewish boy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he, look, he, it depends. It depends. Look, he's he's a little bit. Because um, I don't know really what, that, what makes he's, you a nice. He's Jewish a nice. Boy. He's a nice Jewish boy, but he's you know he's uh, he's opinionated. You know, he's very opinionated. Has strong opinions and and convictions, and he is um, a little hard to get along with. But he's no, he's not that nice. He's all right. He's all right. He's smart. He's smart. Does he get into conflict? And he challenges with, you. Does he get and I love conflict that about with Brad Pitt ever? Not right? no. in this. No, no, mm -hmm. not in this one. But with Tracy Letts, who's a wonderful, wonderful actor. Fantastic you guys actor, don't know him. Brilliant, brilliant author as well. Yeah, yeah wonderful yeah. Uh, playwright. And now, uh, so. he, in this, a lot of a lot of Philip Roth novels, mm -hmm. uh, people are drawn to them because they got the sexy time in there. Yeah. Yeah, like Portnoy's complaint, like oh, people yeah. waited for the sex. Is there sex in this movie? Oh, there's some sexy time in this, for there sure. Is? Yeah. There's some really sexy okay. moments. I mean, look, there's a beautiful, you know, love story in here, and it's not your typical Hollywood love story. It's different. It's, it's different from everything out there in theaters right now, you know, this film in particular. But the, yeah, there's some sexy time and a beautiful romance in the film. And I think we have a clip here that shows Are we gonna the beginning it? of it. Jim? You want to try one? No, not really. So Marcus Mesner decided to take Livia Hutton to the only fancy French restaurant in all of Franklin County. I'm, I'm so sorry. Do you want to leave? Is this all right? Hey. 
relax. You're so intense. Trust me, I'm trying. <laughs> Time. And then some sexy time. Some sexy time after yeah. that. Yeah. Sexy time after that. You have said that, like, this is a great time for independent film. That some people, including the director yeah. of your film, whose name is James Seamus, who's James a Seamus. wonderful, wonderful filmmaker. He at one point said that uh, independent film is dead. Yeah. No. No, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. It's booming. It's mm -hmm. booming. Everything mm -hmm. great that that is happening in the film world is happening in independent film, and. Whoever says, whoever disses independent film yeah. is, is, is just not aware of, of, of what's happening, I guess. And what Marvel superhero do you want to play? I, I have no idea, man. <laughs> I, I have no idea. Look, I, I could say this. I could say this. All the best movies out there that I want to see are happening in the independent film world. They're, they're not formulaic films. They're there to challenge you and be different and support independent film, please, because... <laughs> Don't go downloading movies, or at least the independent films on the internet. We, we check this we, one. We gotta out. go. But I, am I am I correct in 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 hearing that your fans are called Lermaniacs? Yeah. Are there any yeah. Lermaniacs here tonight? Okay. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Lermaniacs of all stripes. Indignation is in theaters now. Logan Lerman, everybody. We'll be right back.